these kids coming into this season only had won five games in their entire high school career coming into this, right? And to be able to go 12 and two, uh, to be able to believe in each other, right? Believe in the system and what we got going on, to be able to turn it around like the way they did. So they set the standard high and now it's our opportunity to keep it up there. 35 unanswered points and for the first time in the history of the AIA, the Higley Knights, through all their ups and downs in past years are finally Arizona State champions. Devin Henry here at Sun Devil Stadium and after so many competitive seasons under head coach Eddie Zuby in 4A, in 5A, and a couple of strange seasons in 6A, they took everything that they have learned in the culmination of the past few years and brought it here to Sun Devil Stadium in what was an electric win on offense and on defense to finally claim a state title for the Higley Knights. I had to go through to do it. We wanted to enjoy the moment. There's some times in there when the kickoffs and the kickoff returns and the timeouts, I just left the kids on the field. I said, look around, right? Enjoy this moment. You know what I mean? Like these people are all up here to see you, right? Because the work you guys have put in starting in January. He's a great coach. You know, we just trust what he says and we followed it and uh, we just bought in, you know? It's great. I think it's really just a big beginning for Higley too of uh, just a big future, you know? We had a couple of errors with penalties and stuff like that. And we just had to clean it up, to be honest. We were playing we were playing pretty good football. We just made a couple of mistakes, and as soon as we cleaned it up, we were clicking. Our coaches knew what to do, and we just had to go along with it. All of our line and players that we have are so great that we just got to play. We just got to go with the plays, and the defense stopped them. That's how we got 35 unanswered. I mean, it means everything. T to be honest, I'm just going to thank my teammates. They've been, they've been amazing through the whole process, through freshman year, for the through the bumps and bruises and to now being state champions. And I'm just grateful for my teammates. Even at halftime, I kind of closed the door and was in there by myself. You know, uh, this is a great feeling. You know, as a football coach, you always want to get to a state championship game. Uh, but to get here and then be here on a field that I played at in college and just all that type of stuff. You know, I've been a coach in the Valley for 19 years, you know, and I, and I got here. So I uh, just wanted to be able to enjoy it.